Today I'm going to show you a few things on the banjo and my name is Paddy Achtelik. I'd like to tell you a bit about the anatomy of the banjo. As with most stringed and fretted instruments, its main parts are a body, the neck and the headstock. The strings go from the machine heads or tuners, as they're called on the banjo often, to the tailpiece at the bottom here. And they're strung over the neck from the nut to the, to the bridge. The main difference with the banjo is that it has a fifth string which starts up the neck, about a fifth up the neck here, which is a thinner and higher pitched string. And the other difference is that you have a drum-like body with a skin over it, which was formerly an animal string, but is now um, a ream or drum head. Now this banjo, for example, is more similar to the traditional banjo used in the 19th century with an open back. So you wouldn't have a resonator. This banjo here has a resonator on the back of the body, which allows the sound to be pushed forward in a way so it's louder and more suitable for playing in a band. Uh, you can find many different types of banjos, such as tenor banjos, which are four strings, ukulele banjos, which are ukuleles in the shape of a banjo to give you the bright sound. You can even find guitar banjos, which have six strings. But what mainly defines the banjo is the bright sound, which you get because you have a drum-shaped tone ring and a resonator at the bottom.